wanted. <laughs> I was here to introduce our new pastor, Pastor Eric, and his son uh, Luke is here with him today. He's going to tell us a little more about himself because I would mess that up if I tried to tell you something. <laughs> He's a great guy that I've gotten to know a little bit around, so uh, he's taking over the reins for us. Amen. Welcome. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so grateful and to have the privilege to be your pastor, to, to work with you together so we do God's work in Moville and in this world. My wife is Ebony, my son Luke, I have another son Noah, and Amona, my daughter, and Abigail, um, my youngest. My wife is a lay preacher, so right now she is preaching. She would, she is a new pastor at Rock Branch, so she preaching there. And and so I told my son, no, you all can't go with your mom. Someone have to come with me, you know. <laughs> so I brought him. So we, we are privileged to to get to know you. I want to be praying for you. And and I live in the Sioux Lane area for many years. In fact, I live in Sioux City for almost eight years ago when I came at Pastor St. James United Methodist Church. Following that, I did some other ministry, and, and now we were in Lamar, now we're coming here, but we were in Des Moines of almost uh, 10 years ago, and now this Sioux Lane is my, almost like a home. So I'm so grateful to be your pastor. Pray for me, and, and I, as I pray for you, and thank you, Kirk, for your leadership with the SPRC and for all those who are help us to move some stuff around to our new place. So let us greet one another and prepare for worship, okay? Remain standing, let us prepare for worship. I will invite you to follow up with the announcement, the bulletin. Let us sing together to God be the glory.
okay? Praise the Lord. I want for us to do an exercise. I will say, God is good. And I invite you to respond all the time, okay? God is good. All the time. All the time. Do you believe that? Yes. Yes, indeed. So that's why we say to God be the glory for great things he has done. So I invite you for um, the call to worship. It is by God's grace that we gather for worship. Come into God's presence with hunger and thirst. Help us by our action to be faithful followers of Jesus. Let us pray together. The innocent prayer. Loving and generous God, you are the fun of every blessing, the source of all. Worship. We thank you for your abundance given. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I invite you for the first scripture reading on Hebrew Scripture Lamentation 3 22 25. Hear the word of God. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassion never fails. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good. To those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him, may God bless the reading of his holy word. I want to invite the young disciple to come forward, please. Do we have any young disciple to come forward? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come, come. I have an exercise for you to do. Come on. How are you? Come on. I have something show and tell. What is this? Can you do that? Can you? Wow. Is that all you can do? We can lotto. Can we do the lotto? Can you do that? The Bible says in Psalm that we are all created in the image of God to praise God. So the psalmist said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So we use different ways to praise God. We, in some sort, I thought we will bring a drum. You know, David was one of the person who loved to praise God with an instrument. So I want you to... Use your hand and do. I would. I would do. I would try. Okay. And for now, I'll give. Give. We we'll all take turn. Are you ready? I will hit this drum. I'll play some music. Okay. Your turn. Use your. You can use two hands. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Your turn. Good. You see, the opportunity that we have in our life, the very air we breathe is a gift from God. So for all God has done by his grace, we ought to praise him. So the sound of the drum 
the birds is the way creation praise God. So you all don't forget to give thanks to God and praise God. Okay? So I'll do it one more time with my hand. Like that? So let us praise God. Let us pray. Pray with me, okay? Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love, for the gifts and strength you give us. Help us to praise you in little way and in big ways like we did for the drum. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for coming. I invite you to please stand. We'll do the Apostle Creed. Following that, we will do the scripture reading together. Okay, have we done? Is it there? That's what I meant. The Apostle Creed? Yes. Yeah, we, we sang the song already. So let's. let's. Great is the faithfulness. Okay, go ahead. Let's let's go ahead and sing the song. Okay, sing. We read the scripture. Yeah. Say the Apostle Creed together. I 
I believe in God the Father, Mighty Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born by the Mary, and purchased by the was again. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, and the saints, and the saints, everlasting. Amen. And I invite you, let us read a scripture together from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 10. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is the word of God for the people. Yeah. Please be seated. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty God, by your grace and your spirit, you speak to us your word of life. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be pleasing to you, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. What is in your life that you can give credit to? Perhaps you have work, you are retired, and you look back and say, I'm glad I'm, I'm retired. I work hard, and I earn this. We live in a society where we want, we, we want some sort of credit. And we forget that every foundation, every structure has a, a solid foundation. And if you don't have that foundation, sooner or later you your structure is broken down. There was a story in Haiti where due to the earthquake, it says that some of the structured foundation was not solid enough. We need a solid foundation. We need a foundation of Jesus Christ who is our foundation to, to trust and so the Apostle Paul gave a picture of all that God has done through Jesus Christ. And Paul says, it is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not of yourself, it's a gift of God. So no credit is given to you, no credit is given to me. All the credit is to the glory of God and his work. Amen? Amen. So it is by grace alone that I come to serve as your pastor together to love and to do God's work and see that God is at work. Even before I came here over the years, I heard of the wonderful ministry of this church. And each of you have gifts of his grace that you continue to nurture and see. So no credit is given to us, but all to God and his work. Why? Why did we are people of God's grace? And like in the Wesleyan tradition, we, we have this uh, prevailing grace, the justifying grace, the sustaining grace, the sanctifying grace, grace upon grace is upon your life and my life. But we forget, we've, sometimes we take for granted the work of God's grace. 
And so the Jeremiah in the Old Testament on scripture help us this morning say, remember when everything was bleak for the people of God, and there's a message of hope said because God mercy is new every morning that you and I we are not consumed no matter what we have done in the past when we come before God we receive a mercy and grace because of a mercy new every morning we can say great is his faithfulness our God is faithful from the past and forever so based on that fact that he is faithful we come before God because of his grace and mercy. We come with empty hands. As the songwriters say, I come with empty hands to the cross. Seeking mercy. But yet we have a foundation. Yet we have a solid foundation. Jesus Christ is our foundation. All we have is because of what Christ has done because of his grace. That what Paul says in, in Ephesians chapter 2, you were dead in your sin and, and trespasses. But praise God of what Christ has done because of his great love, his great mercy. To you and I, we are saved. By his grace, not of works, let no one should boast. And because of this great work he has done through Jesus Christ, through the cross, because Christ died, Christ rose again, Christ is coming back. Amen? Amen. So we come to celebrate his grace. As you come to the table today to receive his grace, his sustaining grace, to know that the Holy Spirit is with you. And for you. But never forget, Jesus says, You and save me because of His grace. And invite us to use our gift to work, to serve for His glory. I read a story of a a young boy, he always worked chore in the house and, and so one day he decided to do some work for his mom and told his mom, I would, I, I would do something extra for you today, mom. So he decided to take the trash out, he decided to um, put the car keys to where it belonged, he decided, he was just extraordinary that day and the mom was surprised. But after he, he did all this work, he wanted to do something, so he wrote a note. He said, for taking out the trash, five dollars. <laughs> for helping the dog, Two dollars, you know. He calculated everything, almost like twenty bucks, and he wrote a nice note. I love you, mom, and put it right on the on a, on a pillow. The mom came from work and read that and was surprised that his son would do this. So she decided to do something too, and call him one day and in the kitchen table. Wrote her note nicely for taking you to your ball game, no price. For burying you in my stomach for nine months, no price. For putting up with your friend when he came to my house to eat pizza, no, no price. And he was stunned. He, he didn't know what to do. And at the end of the note, the mom said, I will always love you, your mom. He pondered over that and he knew that his mom loved him. And, and no amount of price of money cannot take care of that. 
The point is to say that God loves you and I and his grace towards us is always there. But it cost Jesus Christ his life, his, his very life for us because of that grace. He died on the cross. He, he, he was buried and he rose again. And he's coming back because of all of the work of God. And his grace is in you and through you. So together, we can be part of this beautiful work of his mission, the church. So may we see the grace of God in each other. And may we use our life for the testimony of his grace. And when we come to the point of our life, may we all say, to God be the glory, great things he has done, and great things he would do. I believe God have great work for this church. I don't know about you, but I believe it. Amen? Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen. So Father, we thank you for your grace. Help us to never take for granted your grace upon our lives. We pray that you will renew us, strengthen us for the mission of Jesus Christ. Bless each person here today. Bless our church family. And bless those who are now with us. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. It is this time opportunity for joy and concern. And you know, as you know, today is my first Sunday, so I'm still getting used to your bulletin. So we will work on it, you know. But Joy and concerns, do we have any um, prayer requests or joy to share or concern that you can share with the church family today? Joy to the rain. Joy. Yeah, it was a blessing of the rain last night. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise, and by the grace of God, God has allowed me to do Anniversary. Happy anniversary. God bless you. Happy anniversary. I have a prayer request. Uh, my cousin uh, told us yesterday at our family reunion uh, it would be his great uh, great granddaughter uh, was born with a heart that only partially, about half worked, and uh, has been in the Children's Hospital in Indianapolis um, since before she was born. Uh, they have got, it, after she was born, they did one valve, and then um, they recently did the second one, and in six months, they'll do another one, and then they'll wait a couple years before Okay, we'll pray for Darling Lucille for God's healing. Any other joys and concerns? We give thanks to all those who are celebrating their birthday and all those who are celebrating the anniversary. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come to you giving thanks to you for all your blessings upon our lives. We come believing that you are faithful God in all your ways. Your grace is upon our life. And so we give thanks for your grace. We give thanks for those who are celebrating the anniversary for the way you have been with the family. Your blessings upon them. Bless all those who are celebrating the anniversary. We pray today for Lucille in the hospital and the entire family. That we ask for your healing grace. We pray for the doctor and nurses. And I pray that your grace will help her body. 
We pray for each member in this church those who are not with us, that your grace will be with them. Those who are homebound, those who are in your care center, that you will help them. You will give them grace and strength. We pray that for the blessing of the rain. There's a shower of blessing all, and that we thank you. We thank you that the rain will be a blessing to the crops and the farmers. And pray for those in our community in the those who in our world who are homeless, those who are in prison, that you remember them by your mercy and grace. We, we commit our unspoken needs to you. For you are a loving God. We hear us even before we say, you know all about our needs, so we thank you. You are caring God. And we ask, oh God, for your mercy and grace to forgive us. This is our prayer. Oh God, with thanksgiving, we pray the prayer you taught us saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Forgive us trespasses. to come to the table, the Lord's table, to receive his grace. We come because of what God has done to Jesus Christ. We come empty, we come trusting, believing. And all those who believe by faith is welcome to taste and see the goodness of God. So, the table it's ready. As you take communion today, may I remind you, may I encourage you to never ever forget the grace of God. Everything you have, your very life, is because of His grace, His favor and mercy towards you and towards me. So I invite you with a great thanksgiving. Please stand as we prepare for communion. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, give my it is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You form us in your image and breathe into us the bread of life. When we turn away and our love filled, your love remains steadfast. Your mercy endures forever. You deliver us from the captivity. May covenant to be our sovereign God. And spoke to us through your prophet. We look for the day when justice shall roll down like water and righteousness like ever flowing stream. When nation shall not live so against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join the only name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Hosanna in highest. Bless his Holy you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ. Your spirit and what to him to preach the good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captive and recover sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to announce that the time has come when you will save your people. He healed the sick, our Savior. He fed 
the hungry and it was seen about the baptism of his suffering death and resurrection he gave birth to your church and made with a new covenant by water and spirit and so the scripture say on the night the very night in which our Savior Jesus Christ gave himself for us our dear Savior took bread he gave thanks to his Father in heaven and broke the bread and gave it to a disciple and said, Take eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, when the supper was over, our dear Savior Jesus Christ, he took the cup, the cup of mercy, the cup of forgiveness. He gave thanks to the Father in heaven and gave it to a disciple and said to them, Drink from this, all of you, this is the blood of the new covenant, pour all for you and for many for the forgiveness of your sin. And so in remembrance of these humanity acts in Jesus Christ, O oh God, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving and holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Because Christ has died, because Christ is risen, because Christ will come again. So we pray, Father, that you will pour all your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this bread and cup. Make them be for us the blood of our Savior. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ through his love, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in front of victory and we feast at a heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is your almighty Father, now and forevermore. And the people of God say, Amen. Please be seated and think about the grace of God. And today, I invite you as you come to receive communion. Remember what Christ has done. Our communion is today by instinction, and I will need someone to help me um, with the cup as we. So come and receive God's grace today. We take that. Almighty God, we give thanks for your grace. Allow us by your spirit to work in this world in spreading the love and grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us by your power to go and serve others with love and mercy through Jesus Christ. Your only Son, our Savior. Amen. At this time, we will present our offering, our gift, and tie. May I say thank you for your financial support for the ministry of this church. Let us keep bring our tithe and offering. Please stand and speak to the That's all I did. Mm -hmm.
Father in heaven, we give thanks for the blessings you are giving to us. May this gift and offering be used for the work of your kingdom. And may you help us to be a cheerful giver in everything we do and say. We ask in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Please continue standing. Let us sing our closing song. Freely, freely you have received. And freely, freely give. Hymn number 389. Bless you. Thank you so much for coming. I trust you have been blessed today as you leave from this place. May the grace of God go with you. May the grace of God sustain you. May the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace.